Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Do you let go of clutter, but then at no time it's back to the way it was? Do your books on releasing clutter and getting organized collect dust on a shelf? Do you know you need to dig deeper on releasing clutter but keep getting stuck? Our Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out Releasing and Affirming MP3s support you in all areas of your life, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Hey everyone, for the month of July, I'm going to focus on quick 10-minute tips for releasing clutter and easy ways to get you started. Clutter and getting organized are the last thing that most people are thinking about. Even if it is a busy month with vacation or other things, you can still find time to declutter. I will have one each for physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Little things can make a big difference, so don't dismiss what 10 minutes can do. All right, let's get started. Hey everyone, our 10 minute tip this week is going to focus on spiritual clutter. I used to waste a lot of time comparing myself to others. I tended to do this the most with my physical appearance. I lived in Los Angeles for 10 years and you were constantly bombarded with images of how a woman or a man was supposed to look. I remember my first week how I saw something on the news, have a mini facelift during lunch. I had just moved from Massachusetts and thought this was nuts. Because I was insecure about my looks, I easily got caught up in comparing myself to other women, how fat or thin I was, how attractive I was, et cetera, et cetera. Until I really came into my own, I spent a lot of time doing this. I still sometimes get caught up in this, but for the most part, I've learned to compete against myself and compare myself with myself. For this week, I want you to stop comparing yourself to others. Comparing yourself to others can create a lot of spiritual clutter and waste a lot of energy. If you are always comparing yourself to somebody else, How can you celebrate and share your gifts? You are a unique individual with unique talents, physical characteristics, and personality traits. How could you compare that to someone with a completely different set of -of one-of-a-kind everything? It's human nature to want to compare ourselves to others. I also believe with all the advertising and messages we are bombarded with daily, it's hard not to let that affect us. However, if we focus on others, then that takes away time for focusing on ourselves. We all have our journeys to take and lessons to learn. Even if you are comparing yourself to someone with similar circumstances, looks, skills, etc., you may very well have different journeys and different reasons for having similar experiences. Comparing yourself to someone else is easy. It's a lot harder to do self-reflection. This week, When you find yourself comparing yourself to someone, stop. Take a deep breath. Spend 10 minutes on some self-reflection. What weaknesses could you improve? Or what about yourself would you like to celebrate? When you stop comparing yourself to others, you can see your gifts much more easily and then start putting them to use. As I've said before, I want to live in a world where everyone is following their joy and passion and sharing their gifts with the world. Everyone benefits when that happens. Often clutter represents something else. Maybe it is to fill a need or to keep an emotion buried. Can you dig deeper and see why you may be comparing yourself to someone? What message is your spiritual clutter trying to tell you? What are you blocking that you can release? Like anything, this takes practice, but by stopping comparing yourself to others, you will free up energy as well as reduce your spiritual clutter. All right, everyone, let's spend the week stopping comparing ourselves to other, to clear some spiritual clutter, to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. 
Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter-free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.